everyone. So today I'm going to explain you electrophoresis pattern for different hemoglobinopathies. So I have written here normal electrophoresis pattern for hemoglobin and then different disorders that I have mentioned. I have sickle cell trait here, sickle cell anemia, hemoglobin CAC trait, hemoglobin SC disease, beta thalassemia minor and beta thalassemia major. So let me explain you on like normal hemoglobin electrophoresis. So when you do the electrophoresis, cathode which is a negative charge or diode and anode here which has got a positive charge. Point of application is here. So depending on the charge, overall net charge of a molecule, so it is going to move. So in normal hemoglobin, so the adult hemoglobin is going to move all the way towards anode. HBF is before adult hemoglobin and then HBA2 that is minor adult hemoglobin is almost little closer to the cathode. Now let's see what we what you are going to see in sickle cell trait. Note that in sickle cell trait one beta globin is normal and that beta globin is going all the way towards anode whereas the other beta globin is of sickle type that is it has beta or the beta globin, one of the beta globin, sixth position, glutamate is replaced by valine. It means glutamate which has a negative charge, you don't have it now, that's a HBS type. That is why it is moving to the middle and stopping there. Now there is no, not that much change in fetal hemoglobin and HBA2 in sickle cell trait. Okay, so adult hemoglobin is nearer to the anode and HBS one of the beta globin which is changed, it is there in the middle here. Now sickle cell anemia. In sickle cell anemia, both the beta globins, glutamate is replaced by valine at sixth position. Because of that, as you can see, there is no normal adult hemoglobin here, but HBS is there in the middle. And because no useful hemoglobin is synthesized, no adult hemoglobin here, normal adult hemoglobin, so the fetal hemoglobin is increased. That is a compensation mechanism that our body will respond and increase fetal hemoglobin. In the same way, adult hemoglobin HbA2, that is minor adult hemoglobin, is also increased a little bit. Now let's move on to HbAc trait. In HbAc trait, one of the beta globin is normal. That's why it has moved all the way towards anode, whereas the other beta globin Glutamate at 6th position is replaced by lysine which has a positive charge. That is why this beta globin is moving but not really all the way to the middle or to the anode. It just stops nearer to the cathode that is HBC here which is the glutamate replaced by lysine. And because lysine is a positively charged amino acid that is why it is staying nearer to the cathode. Whereas you don't see much significant change in HBF and HBA2 in HBAC trait. Now let's see HBSC disease. This is a compound heterozygote condition. In this particular disorder, so one of the beta globin is of sickle type, sickle type where glutamate is replaced by valine. That's why it is stopping in the middle. Whereas other beta globin is of HBC type where glutamate is replaced by lysine which is a positive charge. So it means net positive charge is more, so it is staying nearer to the cathode, okay? And because no useful hemoglobin or globins are synthesized here, as a compensation, there is increase in fetal hemoglobin and also minor adult hemoglobin in HBSC disease. Now coming with the beta thalassemia minor. Beta thalassemia minor, it is an heterozygote condition where one of the beta globin synthesis is decreased, other beta globin is fine, means, means one gene is mutated here, so because of that quantitatively beta globin synthesis is decreased, that is why you can see the band here, adult hemoglobin is synthesized, but the quantitatively it is less, that is why as a compensation minor adult hemoglobin is increased here. Not much of fetal hemoglobin increased, but minor adult hemoglobin is increased in beta thalassemia minor. So there is decrease in normal adult hemoglobin, but increase. 
Now let me explain uh, beta thalassemia measure. So in beta thalassemia measure, so both the beta globin genes are mutated because of this, the quantitatively the normal adult hemoglobin that is synthesized is drastically going down and that's why you can see that very little amount of normal adult hemoglobin is synthesized here because of this so useful hemoglobin is not there so there is as a compensation our body has responded and increased fetal hemoglobin significantly as you can see here fetal hemoglobin is increased significantly and also minor minor adult hemoglobin is also increased okay so these are all the different types of hemoglobinopathies so different bands you are seeing here so all these bands you need to remember so because these are the things which are commonly asked in the exam thanks for watching